<laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Well, hey guys, welcome to the channel. Glad you're here. Glad you're stopping by. You know, I said that they might be a slow down on long form content. No way, I'm not lying. And yeah, I do have. I have beanie hair. Have beanie hair. Sometimes I take the beanie off. Um, yeah. So I I, I saw an article actually uh, Mudahar from uh, somewhere in Air Gamers. Uh, I I saw this video he posted uh, about a CNN article that came out. Uh, that was called, basically, I think the tagline was, what is digital blackface? I think, I think you and I, uh, you guys just watching this, um, we have a clear understanding that racism, not cool. Racism sucks. I think we can agree with that. I, I think we can agree that uh, there's some things we shouldn't do. Uh but we can also agree that racism does still exist. But we also are not idiots. We're not stupid. Um, you know, there, there's a thing where <laughs> media likes to push things. They like to push these ideas uh, that are so progressive that they become cringe. And this is one of those cases. Uh, CNN had an article, it was called, I believe it was called, what is a digital blackface? So basically, basically, the whole gist of it is if you're white and you post a GIF, an emoji, uh, anything like that, a meme on social media featuring a person of color, uh, you are basically racist. Now, good example. I, I know you guys know the D's Nuts uh, GIF. Like, the it was... It was pretty big back in the day. Like, I'm not going to lie. I still say these nuts. Um, it was a person of color that was saying it. And it was hilarious. Uh, we've seen the Antoine Fisher thing where he said, hide your kids, hide your wife. Uh, that was big. Then we had the other lady. I don't know her name. Uh, she said, ain't nobody got time for that. So what this article is basically trying to get, and I understand that uh, TikTok and Twitter, like these idiots are going to get a hold of this and they're going to use it. They're going to be like, yeah, bad white person using black people in gifts. Racist. You are literally Hitler. I, I know people was probably going to take this article and uh, take it to heart. Honestly, I do. Um, you know, there's a point where things just go too far. And this is one of those things. Um, like I said, I think we can all agree that racism is bad. And I know this may sound hypocritical from a white person, a white male, uh, which, uh, you know, I'm purely evil. But that's too far, I think. I think that's really too far. Um, especially the fact that the people in his gifts were celebrated. Uh, they became viral sensations. People loved them. People still talk about them today. Uh, pe some people of color that got famous because, hey, we liked how funny you are, so we use you in everyday media. Every day we use you. That should be something to be celebrated. Now, I'd understand if it was something like, oh, doing like a white guy or somebody doing something awful to a person of color. That's that's totally different. That's totally different. That's a no-no. That's a big no. That's a big no. But I don't understand, like, why every... It seems to happen all the time. Every week there seems to be this new uh, idea that uh, you have to be this much more progressive. And it seems like they try to top each other on who can be more progressive. Uh, people have become so progressive and offended that, you know, you just farting... Which, I mean, I guess you can be offended by a fart, but farts are still funny, right? They're definitely not racist, unless unless it is a racist fart. Is, is farts racist? I don't know. We'll have, to, we'll have to ask CNN. Ask Twitter. Is fart racist? You know, I, 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 like, I, I don't understand. I don't understand. Like, I, I, <laughs> it's, it's stupid. You're trying to take... You're trying to take something so 
like wholesome for the most part, something funny, something uh, innocent, and turning it into a high crime. Uh, it's it's stupid. It's really stupid. It's almost as bad as uh, there was a. I think it was on TikTok uh, when Black Panther and Wakanda Forever came out. Uh, there was this video where a person said, "Hey, if you're white, do not go see Black Panther." on the opening. As a matter of fact, what you need to do is buy a ticket, give it to a person of color, then go sit in front of the movie theater while they play that movie, while they are going in and watching it. Aren't we supposed to bring the country together to enjoy uh, this melting pot, this culture? Why are we trying to segregate it? Uh, why are we trying to segregate each other? This is not the Jim Crow era. Last time I checked. Um, you know, I, I, you know, I, and I know this is hypocritical or somewhat something that every white person says, but like, I like black people. They're just people. I don't care what color their skin are, uh, is. <laughs> I, I get nervous talking about stuff like this, but that this article was really stupid. It was really dumb. And, you know, a lot of people were coming out of the closet and say, hey, it's actually kind of funny. I shouldn't have said, <laughs> never mind. Um, they're like, hey, th this is out of bounds. This is stupid. This is stupid. Like, why are you trying to hurt this? This is not racist. But like I said, you'll have people on Twitter and TikTok using this. They'll take it to heart and they'll you know, be, become more progressive. I, I think I think at this point in time that people are not stupid. I think people are coming to find out that this is a lot of bullshit. Um, the media is trying to tear us apart. Uh, they're trying to, you know, keep us separated. Uh, they don't want us to get along with black people. They don't want us to get along with people in the LGBT, LGBT community. They don't want that. Uh, they just want to separate us, uh, fight each other, uh, and that's how they have control over this. Why? That's why the media has control over you because, you know, you know people take this shit to heart, and whenever you know you have this narrative that all all white people are bad people, uh, don't trust a whitey. Um, I think that's pretty bad. Now, I don't want to get on the news. and I wouldn't want to be a media company that got on the news and said, oh, P POCs are bad, all of them. They're terrible people, awful people. Don't don't hang out with POCs. That's stupid, right? Shouldn't be you shouldn't be judging somebody due to the color of their skin. Um, I, that's why I like America, because we're so diverse. We're really diverse. I like to think I'm pretty progressive for the most part. Um, is there racism? Yeah. Everywhere. Everywhere. Like, not just the United States. It happens everywhere. Um, United States, uh, I mean, we had we had our time. We had our time. I like to think we should be past these times. I think we should be working together, not against each other. Um, but articles like this just poisons the well, in my opinion. It's it's disgusting, it really is, and I might just be another white guy complaining about something like this, and you know, I know some people are gonna be like, oh, well, you're just white, so you don't really have any say on what's racist and what's not racist. Uh, racism's racism; doesn't matter what color your skin is. You could be a person of color and hate white people because they're white; that's racism, or vice versa; it's racism. But why throw away things that are actually celebrated? Are you going to tell me that I can't listen to black music like rap or uh, blues, jazz, soul, R&B? Is that, is that music, blackface? Uh, are you going to tell me I can't go again, go see Black Panther? Is that movie blackface? No. No, it's not. It's really not. It's not racism. It's taking in the culture. And I think that's what all of us should do. We should take in the culture. 
Stop separating each other. Stop trying to segregate us. Stop putting this shit in people's heads. It's, it's pretty dumb. It's pretty dumb. I'll talk to you guys later. Oh, there's a girl called Millie, and the boys almost her so they love her so.